Papa Squat. Come at ya. I always like to do the chest pump at the beginning because it completely peaks the microphone and turns it all red. Uh, we're going to listen to a couple of songs today that people have sent in for me to react to that they have made. Uh, no clue what they're like, and uh, I want to get through some of this stuff so we can um, get back to kind of a more of a variety, because I feel like it's taking me far too long to get through all of these uh, people who have sent me things, and it, it and I don't mind doing it. I love doing it. I love to hear what people are coming up with, but there's so much more music out there that I feel like even doing four or five videos a day is not enough, and I never thought I would even want to do four or five videos but i'm having a blast so there you go uh i heard from david shoddy and uh he's apparently here in the seattle area and uh who knows maybe we'll get together sometime that would be kind of cool uh i also have cowgirl i think queued up by him to listen to and maybe i'll do that tonight or tomorrow sometime soon um i was curious about it because people said uh you should check it out anyway uh, that's neither here nor there. This song was sent in by someone, and what's strange is I have a name for the person who sent it to me, but I don't know if that's the person who made the track. So, uh, this says it was posted to the channel for Lego Brick, and, uh, I'm going to assume that is the creator of this. The song is called Local Sound. And it is pronoun <laughs> pronounced, produced by OEOD, which is a pretty cool name. O O W E E O H D E E O E O D, and uh, <laughs> I really think that's a good name. And uh, let's go. No idea what this is like. Five minutes, seven seconds. Uh, I don't think I had any information about him. I forget. Uh, but let's give it a listen. Hey, Lego Brit, let's go. I, uh, let's go. I forgot to ask my cousin to say this, but the checks. I, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Let's go. Her, uh, I was chilling walking down the street, oh, uh, and he over here trying to find me. The only thing that he got to worry about is, is him getting evicted. He ain't even pay the bills. This bitch crazy. She's trying to fuck. Okay, so this has got to be some younger guys who are trying, and and it, I think that's cool. I can, it's, production needs to be stepped up for it to be really taken seriously, and I don't, I don't mean that in a, you should stop making music kind of way, I mean that in a, you need a room that's going to isolate some sound for you so that you get just the sounds that you want into the microphone. Uh, it sounds like this may have been recorded just in like a regular room, uh, and that can work, but it's got to have some sound baffling and all that sort of good stuff in it. Uh, and I'm going to keep going, but that's the first thing right off the bat, the first 25 seconds. Um, let's keep going. Clean the back of this FedEx truck. This is crazy. She should I burn my clothes over Chinese food. I just told this bitch to get on my dude and move back then kick her on my home. I might take a hike. And I get a clock, put a hole in his head while he on his bike. Got pushed by a crack at it. He looked like P. Davidson. That nigga at school still writing love letters. Niggas fucked up out here. They need some money or something. They eating puppy chow and kitty chow still. Me. Yeah, I, I, and there's still something here, right? Uh, the mic is not good. I, that's fine. Uh, if you want to keep doing this, you're going to have to get better equipment. Totally understand that. Uh, let's keep going. Wow, over here, I catch this dude eating lion yeah, chow. Yeah, peeking out. Man, that little nigga a cannibal, bro. I just scammed this nigga online. He a, he a cannibal. His dog was eating human legs. What the heck? I can't tell if the sounds in the background are supposed to be there or not. And again, that's mostly because... It sounds like it's just being recorded in a room and maybe somebody's talking in the background and it's getting picked up and that wasn't what you had wanted, but maybe it is supposed to be there and I just don't know. Um, there you go. We ride around with chops and glocks. She's still riding around with that dirty ass shotgun bitch. 
actually one of the Netflix and chill. That nigga weird as hell. He tried to fuck his bitch while he was playing Roblox. He tried to fuck another bitch while he was playing Lego City. He tried to fuck a bitch while he was playing Genshin Impact. What the hell? I'm gonna kill him, so I beat him with my weapon. Yeah, I beat his ass and I knock him out like it's Tekken. I got off this trip. You got one dollar fee. Then scammers start finna start. Knock him out like it's Tekken. That, that sounds like a lyric that we heard the other day in somebody else's song. So I'm kind of curious if they're fans of that music and it just kind of circled back around in their head and came out. They were certainly talking about computer games. Getting cheese soon, bro. I got all the racks. I'm getting stacks. Plus I'm getting packs. Plus I'm getting plats. That nigga in a, in a lot of trouble. I stole his bank plate. That nigga made his company yesterday. I just skimmed it out 500k. And now he going bankrupt already. <laughs> I get my glass and chops. I'm ready. I'm steady. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm on my game, shit, look like I'm doing too much work. I finna get the work. I finna get the perk. Shop and get the work. Dog sent me 100k euros because he was in France. Talking with one of my Japanese posts, he gave me 68,250 yen. He, overpiss he over here pissing me off so much. Shut the fuck up. God damn, nigga. He told me he was a king, but he seemed he was gonna kill me. He thought it was funny. I texted him, I'm like, I'm five minutes away. He told me he was a cannibal, so I went over here and killed his ass. Now his homie, the next day, tried to testify against me while he eating crystals. His other homie testifying while he eating Burger King, bruh. A stripper hoe tried to testify against me while she eating Dairy Queen. And yeah, I won't forget to rhyme while I'm in my prime. He over here doing his time. Hey, at least he didn't snitch. The police should over here being a bitch. They still having to change tires when I'm running off. This email bitch tried to kidnap me so she can eat my car. I was skimming up to Walmart. I got I made it to the exit and I saw the police. The jerk not I had to pull in a rocket launcher. Just know I don't need no shooter cause I could kill people myself. I caught this nigga paying so he could fuck and he lame as fuck. How are you talking trash or I give him my chopper? And I pull up, then I finna get him down, then I finna get the chopper and I get him down. So this is this part he's kinda going into a little bit of a singy voice, a little bit more of a of a melody to what he's doing with his voice. And uh Definitely got to work on your flow. Uh, I, I'm sure this is not news to you. I, th I th what you're doing is fine. It's just fine. I have no problem with it. It needs to be crisper. It just needs to be more professional. And you are not at the professional level, and that's fine. Keep doing this, and you will get there. Because the fact that you sent this to me tells me that you want to be taken seriously and if you want to be taken seriously keep doing it uh, you're absolutely doing the right thing absolutely keep working on your craft sorry I was gonna say something about he uh, when you when he changed up his flow there I kinda liked that because it meant a different part of your brain was kicking in and you were thinking oh, okay no I wanted to do something a little bit different here and I absolutely picked up on that it, it was definitely a change I could feel in the music and could hear, obviously. Um, so, again, keep working on it. Keep changing up your flow. Do something different. Get your lyrics down. You, you've got to get them down. Because I can hear you umming once or twice here, and it sounds like maybe you're rifling through some papers and things like that. we got to cut that noise out. Um, but, like I said, you made an entire song, and <laughs> you sent it in, and I'm totally there for it. So just keep working on everything. See how the sound goes kind of up and down a little bit too? It's got to be more consistent. That nigga dumb as shit, he tried to steal a rocket launcher and he tried to steal an airplane from the U.S. military, bro. And Dog tried to go to Area 51. He got gone down. Yeah. This bitch said my semen tastes like butter. She tried to put it on toast too, bro. What the fuck? He wouldn't enjoy my game, so I'm like, Hey yo, you forgot to sign the check. 
Dog saying he's scamming people at GameStop. He work at GameStop. Bob went over there and robbed the GameStop because he forgot to get his PS5 and Elden Ring, bro. Yo. I'm still using that method that be going on for ages. <sighs> All great. Now they're eating bear chow. Dog eating zebra chow as, uh, as well. We'll get we'll get into that in the next song. All right, guys. All right. I just saw Meta try to masturbate to a zebra. Her pussy was good, but her head was was bad. Dog was eating bear chow, and he was eating zebra chow. And he said that he found that was good through the local source. But what do these people at the news be telling him, bro? He was trying to fuck this bitch at CNN News. While he was looking at the local source, bro. He tried to testify against me while he eating McDonald's because he found out that I was at the local source. He tried to find evidence against me to, by going into the local source, bro. This bitch was sending me love letters to, through the local source. Wait, how does bitch you know she reading newspapers? This bitch read as hell. She said she wanted to eat my dick for breakfast. She tried to fuck me during the festival. She tried to sh pull my shorts down and look at my dick in the pool. I'm like, oh hell nah. And the song over, so let me let the beat ride if it is right. Hey! Bah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, absolutely... Thank you, I'm, I'm there for what you're doing. Uh, lots of stuff to work on. I'm sure you know this. Um, just get the. I know you can't go to a recording studio, so you're gonna have to fake it. You're gonna have to make one in a closet that's stuffed full of clothes, or put up a bunch of the fucking egg crate things on the wall, the egg holders to deaden the sound. Uh, get your wrap down. Uh, you, because you can't sound like you're not confident. You, you just, you gotta know it. You gotta have it. Like, you gotta nail it. And, uh, it almost sounds like something that you might do really well with is, uh, trying to record this like you're, uh, like you're punching in. Um, do little snippets. It's gonna take a lot of work. That, that's the part that nobody tells you about. It's going to take a lot of work because you're going to have to take every little snippet and put it together exactly the way you want. You're going to need software to do it. You're going to have to match up the beat. You're going to have to match up your voice. It takes a lot of work. And uh, I love that you sent this to me. I absolutely love it. And if you... I, I hope nobody gives you shit in the comments because they shouldn't you're doing something that most people do not do and uh, and I don't mean send me music I mean they don't sit down and make a complete song and finish it to a point where they feel like they could send it to someone else and I will 100 percent back you up on that that is that's literally 90 percent of the battle maybe 80 percent of the battle um, it's really, it's fantastic that you did that. Uh, now, more about the song. The music, much too plain. Like, the background, it's just a single backing beat the entire way through. There's no variation. Uh, you should spend some time looking at that, seeing how you could jazz it up a little bit. I don't mean jazzy. I mean, make it, uh, vary it some. Make it a little bit different. And, uh, because you're not... You're not rapping on, uh, like, a freestyle on, like, a rap program on the radio or something like that, uh, or at a competition or anything like that where they just give you a track and you need to rap over it, right? You are creating a piece of music that needs to be what you want it to be, and you may have to think about it in a completely different way than you currently are in order to get it to that point, but... I think you can do it, and I think you're passionate enough because you did this that you can do it. So keep working on it. That's that's all I gotta say. Uh, I love that you sent this in, and and I really hope you keep working on this shit. Cause man, uh, if you get it to the point where you can make something out of this, you will never regret sending this song to me. And uh, I really hope. I really hope it goes somewhere for you. Oh, also, I was going to say, the song is Local Source, and you didn't really talk about Local Source until we got to the end, and I wasn't really sure exactly what you were trying to say with that. So, um, if you're looking to sharpen up the lyrics and all that sort of stuff, definitely work on it. 
Um, this was a very kind of almost stream of consciousness, five minutes long. Uh, music now, as we've seen on the channel, is usually so, so, so much shorter. And you may do way better, and it will take you a lot less time to work on a two to three minute song than it does a five minute song. So sharpen up the ideas, sharpen up the point of the song, get to the point of the song quick and make it clear what you want to do, and it will definitely pay off for you. It'll be much more easy to connect to for everybody else. You'll feel a lot more confident because it's going to be shorter. You're not going to have to be trying to remember hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of words. Um, it's going to be way easier for you. And I, I, yeah, send me more stuff with when you got it. I hope this is encouraging and not discouraging because I am really not trying to discourage you. I want you to keep doing this. Uh, Pop Squat. Check now. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks very much, and thank you for sending this in. Uh, Ken, I think. 